Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on Workbook Lesson 192. I have a function God would have me fill. I have a function God would have me fill. It is your Father's holy will that you complete himself and that yourself shall be his sacred son, forever pure as he, of love, and created in love, preserved, extending love, creating in its name, forever one with God and with yourself. Yet what can such a function mean within a world of envy, hatred, and attack? Therefore, you have a function in the world in its own terms. For who can understand a language far beyond this simple grasp? Forgiveness represents your function here. It is not God's creation, for it is the means by which untruth can be undone. And who would pardon heaven? Yet on earth you need the means to let illusions go. Creation merely waits for your return to be acknowledged, not to be complete. Creation cannot even be conceived of in the world. It has no meaning here. Forgiveness is the closest it can come to earth. For being heaven-born, it has no form at all. Yet God created one who has the power to translate in form the wholly formless. What he makes are dreams, but of a kind so close to waking that the light of day already shines in them and the eyes already opening behold the joyful sights their offerings contain. Forgetfulness gently looks upon all things unknown in heaven, sees them disappear, and leaves the world a clean and unmarked slate on which the word of God can now replace the senseless symbols written there before. Forgiveness is the means by which the fear of death is overcome because it holds no fierce attraction now, and guilt is gone. Forgiveness lets the body be perceived as what it is, a simple teaching aid to be laid by when learning is complete, but hardly changing him who learns at all. The mind without the body cannot make mistakes. It cannot think that it will die, or be prey of merciless attack. Anger becomes impossible, and, there, and where is terror then? What fears could still assail those who have lost the source of all attack, the core of anguish and the seat of fear? Only forgiveness can relieve the mind of thinking that the body is its home. Only forgiveness can restore the peace that God intended for his Holy Son. Only forgiveness can persuade the son to look again upon his holiness. With anger gone, you will indeed perceive that for Christ's vision and the gift of sight, no sacrifice was asked and only pain was lifted from a sick and tortured mind. Is this unwelcome? Is it to be feared? Or is it to be hoped for, met with thanks and joyously accepted? We are one, and therefore give up nothing. But we have indeed been given everything by God. Yet do we need forgiveness to perceive that this is so? Without its kindly light, we grope in darkness, using reason but to justify our rage and our attack. Our understanding is so limited that we, what we think we understand is but confusion born of error. We are lost in midst of shifting dreams and fearful thoughts, our eyes shut tight against the light, our minds engaged in worshiping what is not there. Who can be born again in Christ but him who has forgiven everyone he sees or thinks of or imagines? Who could be set free while he imprisons anyone? A jailer is not free for he is bound together with his prisoner. He must be sure that he does not escape, so, and so he spends his time in, watch, in keeping watch on him, 
The bars that limit him become the world in which his jailer lives along with him. And it is on his freedom that the way to liberty depends for both of them. Therefore, no, uh, therefore hold no one prisoner. Release instead of bind, for thus are you made free. The way is simple. Every time you feel a stab of anger, realize you hold a sword above your head, and it will fall or be averted as you choose to be condemned or free. Thus does each one who seems to tempt you to be angry represent your savior from the prison house of death. And so you owe him thanks instead of pain. Be merciful today. The Son of God deserves your mercy. It is he who asks that you accept the way to freedom now. Deny him not. His Father's love for him belongs to you. Your function here on earth is only to forgive him, that you may accept him back as your identity. He is as God created him, and you are what he is. Forgive him now his sins, and you will see that you are one with him. That's a great image. Every time you feel a stab of anger, realize you always are holding a sword above your head, and it will fall or be averted as you choose to be condemned or free. I hope you have a good workout with this lesson today. And uh, if you need me, you can reach out at 907-351-3003, or you can message me on Facebook or YouTube. And I'll hope to see you here tomorrow for the next lesson. Namaste and much love. <laughs>